It's good to know that after all the terrible things I continue to do to you, you can still find it in your lonely heart to be friends. I will absolutely never be friends with you. But if I don't call your sister garbage, then who will? I wonder what it's like having an ego instead of talent. You're just in time to see my latest experiment. Whoa! But that's just a dog. And why is it staring into my soul like that? Obey! Good boy! See, Pierce? Pierce? I have the money to put that thing down by force. Excellent. I got the mutt some water. I hope you don't mind. I laced it with a hysterical amount of cocaine. Oop. But there's more where... Shut up and look. What happened there? It's in the water. Something about it reverses hypnosis. Good as new. Sure. Who needs a brain cell? The effects can be easily multiplied as many times as necessary. But I'll have to do more research on this bug. I wonder what it's like having talent and no sense. I will use this power for the good of mankind. Or at least to make mankind show me their goods. Come on, Lark, you've got this! Shut up, Chanel, I know. Toss the ball is my thing. But we can't all have your exceedingly muscular forearms. I think her forearms are hot. I forget the rules of the game. Throw. Are you sure? If someone asks you the rules, you'd be a fool not to tell them a lie. Hello, friends. Oh, no. Pierce. Hey, friend Aru. Want to watch me try to hug a real live bear? Tell him yes, Pierce. What are you all up to? Why, we were discussing which one of us should be honored as leader of the team club. Who'd you pick? The water one. Badly. I campaigned so hard against this. Millions were spent. Whoa, I promised to put a fresh pair of Christmas lights in every home. Are you mad? A real ruler should be noble, intelligent, and willing to inbreed, even when other options present themselves. Who do you have in mind, Pierce? Obviously, it should be me. You? <laughs> that does it. I've had enough of coming second place. I'll show you how a Thorndike rules the land. Good. Now repeat after me. We love you, Pierce. We love you, Pierce. We name you our new king. We name you our new king. Excellent. Now, everybody take off your clothes. You will ask us for our consent. Drat. Are you enjoying the works of my vineyard? I grew them myself. Yes, Lady Locke. But how did you grow them off season? With my poo. Sir Troy, shit, Radley. Someone must fetch the ice cream. I got it. No, I do. What would you know about ice cream? It's my world, Radley. It's everything to me. Let go. 
I'm taking these to Pierce. No way! I milk these from a penguin myself! That's not what ice cream is! Fellas, please! Why not smother it on your bodies first? <laughs> huh? huh? Incoming fire! Don't worry! Jet's sounding the war horn from atop that mountain peak! <laughs> We will teach those penguins the meaning of fear. The serfs are awfully well equipped. This does not bode well for a monarchy. Burn them, I say. Burn them all. I'll take everything you have or my goons will nail you to a holy cross. Isn't that right, my noble advisory? Burn her. Raise the taxes. And commit genocide. <laughs> The village is mobilizing! They must have realized I salted any earth I didn't already poop on! Anybody come across some coins when breaking the furniture? Thank you for your sacrifice. Oh god, it's a bee! Enemy sighted! Kill it! Aim for its thorax! No, it looks like a mage! It'll be useless without its stupid hat! Stop it, you lunatics! We, we are, are sorry, sorry, oh great one. I'm still awake. Your king demands a picnic. Jet's fighting a dragon. I think that's a play. Bradley, as the founder of our new aquatic-based religion, I consider this contraption a threat to all society. Well, you'll have to kill me for it. Disobey the squid gods and I'll string you to death. We're out of Lark's grapes! We must warn the people! For the love of my thighs is just some dusty old kite! Hand me your things! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wasn't me! But now our king can ride the skies like a screaming unicorn! What do we do? As the master hunter, I can breed a new pierce from the lower half of a sand naga and a consenting goat. No! The high priestess demands this kingdom is bequeathed to her squid-associated rule! You're nothing without my grapes! I'll string you all by winter's end! Let's just save him. Something, you royal idiots! I always knew I'd die because of Radley! The Divine suggests you should give me all your wealth. But Radley's just a simple servant boy with nothing but a strange amulet of love. Hand over the amulet. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the unicorn has fallen! To the rescue! Search Radley's quarters. Blind Troy if you have to. Ready? No. No! Shut up, Jet! A little to the direction in which the sun is betwixt the moon and the stars all at the same time. But no, that receiving a splinter will result in grievous amputations. Yo! We must amputate the head. But Lark? I said the head. Ow! Do you want me to kiss it better? I mean... Ow! Thank you, Nurse Troy. Anything for you. One mystical shake of something for our beloved king. Keep them coming! And go away, so say the king. Your Majesty, I bring you this tome from a sunken lair beneath the ground. A holding of our mighty sorceress. 
You mean you found a black book in Bianca's stuff? Yep, right after the priestess tried to drown me in a cage. Better luck next time. But thanks, Rad. I fought up a Hydra. I don't care. Hello, DP. That's a green flag. All is well, except for those mysterious killings marked by a trail of grapes. <laughs> Well, if they're as freaky as Bianca, then maybe it's time I nab myself a queen. So, Miss D.P. Shut up, Pierce. Let me guess. The witch still doesn't give a fuck about you. Whoa, girl, we've never even met before. Is that a joke? Or did you lose yourself over the rainbow? Excuse me, but there's this insane woman I need to get away from. Keep dreaming of second place when all you're good at is coming last. But, Miss Penetration, I brought a gift just for you. The only gift I need is power! Or, how about... The exact opposite. But... That's... Not how this was supposed... To go... You said it would be mine? You want to smack my caboose! You cannot defeat consent. Well, you at least appreciate its fullness. Ah! Ah! Achoo! Consent is a living entity that will destroy your... Ah! Ah! Achoo! It was the greatest light in the universe, and she broke it. Without it, we all die. Sounds sadistic. Like dressing up as a human carrot and interfering with a donkey. But what of Pierce? My darling queen, I will literally never die. Like a hard diamond. Oh, diamonds! I love diamonds! <laughs> what was that? It's her! That thunderous little whore you all coveted so badly! Who are you? And why are you fucked? But if there's a storm, the others might be woken up by the rain! Tell me, Pierce. How's Gig? Lady, you are terrifying, and I will return to this dinner. The forests are his. Good thing that merchant camp was choked overnight. I see you've survived the trials of the cage, my dear Waterling. I was guided by a wailing ghost. Oh, look. Praise the Dark Dweller. That praise is mine. Oh, no. Agreed. A source of Skywater may threaten our literal stranglehold upon the common folk. Disciples, we ride with the king. I raised a species of unkillable wolf-sized spiders. Nobody panic, but they're gone. Let's just get to my house. I mean, a holy palace. I can't keep the horsemen of the apocalypse inside, unless they have no reason to go outside. My council, rejoice, for you are all moving into the palace. About time. Master Farmer and Hunter, I recklessly grant you my land for what will surely be a labyrinth of pure honor. All will be safe within the vineyard. The spiders ate a baby. Priest, you may use the sewer bed to continue extorting information from our countrymen through the gentle art of baptism. Hooray for religion! Give us the amulet. And me? What of Nurse Troy? You, my precious, can teach yourself to count through a series of many push-ups. Right. Uh, one, two, two, two. Excuse the three-hour wait, my tantalizing vision of madness. I was busy leading people's souls into absolute ruin. But 
A soul's only worth a dollar in hell. Call me dangerously blind, but I think we can make this work. Huh? Telephone call. My sentinels were as tall as the moon and could enslave a planet. I'm sure it's just Chanel explaining why we need to shut off the power grid for all mankind. Hello, Pierce. Who are you? An associate of Miss Dupree and the woman you just brazenly hypnotized for sex. You're quite the hot old bag yourself. Joke as you will, Thorndyke, but I'm giving you 24 hours to undo the damage you have caused us. Unless you'd like to join Eric at the amusement park. Who the fuck's Eric? 24 hours? <laughs> Disciples! <laughs> Wonderful news! We're going to war! Just say the word! The vineyard is ready! Barricade the palace with tar traps and child hostages! Chanel can conscript the unwilling! <gasps> Where's Radley? I've had enough! You act like this and mock me for copying? Now, you go ahead and do it all over again! What does that even mean? The sewers can be a dark and merciless place, but I'm sure Chanel had a good reason to leave me. Hold it! That bathroom's not for cleaning! Whoa. I know you haven't moved, but why would you need that much pie? Anyhow, I'm back. I hear death outside. My disciples are fighting assassins. I was hoping you'd lend your dear sentinels. I'd be honored to fight for your cause. The baby eating spiders have them demoralized. So does all the religion. I'll string you. I'll string you out. You'll arise, my vineyard. Well, my princess. Pierce? Tell your witch she can't run forever! Look, it's Jet! Formalhalla! Well, that was pointless. I declare victory to Teen Club Kingdom! Pierce! 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 And after weeks of senseless torture, I realized that the real enemy was love all along! May our beasts run free. Our seas burn bright. And our grapes blossom true. How about a toast to our glorious future and the Thorndyke that made it happen? don't understand what's happening. We will never speak of the things that I have done. So we weren't disciples? How strange. Because I can still feel the stringer coursing within me. You're no unicorn. Well, bad news. Because you're all going back to worshipping the ground I walk on. No, they're not. The longer the effect, the stronger the resistance. Looks like you've given one heck of a vaccine. Ooh! Wee! But this isn't right. And yet claiming I was the village whore was perfectly fine? You said I was destined. You said it would all be mine. Well, gang, I guess there's nothing left to do but for everything to go back to normal. And everything went back to normal! Back to normal! Back to normal! I don't even remember drowning all those people! <laughs> Not one! Not a single one! <laughs>